Good evening and welcome to you on this Thursday the 19th of November 2020 as we gather together for night prayer at what may have been a busy day, an opportunity just to stop and reflect on what has been. We say together, the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. We say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. We say the night prayer together. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Our appointed psalm this evening is Psalm 16. The Lord is at my right hand. I shall not fall. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord. All my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion, they many run after their drink offerings of blood i will not offer neither make mention of their names upon my lips the lord himself is my portion and my cup in your hands alone is my fortune my share has fallen in a fair land indeed i have a goodly heritage i will bless the lord who has given me counsel and in the night watches he instructs my heart I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life, and your presence is a fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. The Lord is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The one who endures to the end will be saved, and this good news of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the world as a testimony to all the nations. Now for our responsory. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now for our Nunc Dimittis. O King most blessed on the day of judgment, number us among your chosen. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. Mine own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. O King, most blessed on the day of judgment, 
number us among your chosen. And now for our prayers. And as we've been asked to do throughout this lockdown, prayers from our archbishops. Loving God, at this time of crisis, when so many are suffering, we pray for our nation and our world. Give our leaders wisdom, our health service strength, our people hope. Lead us through these parched and difficult days to the fresh springs of joy and comfort that we find in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Loving Father, God be with us in our distress, with our families, friends and neighbours, our country and our world. Give health to the sick, hope to the fearful and comfort to the mourners. Give wisdom to our frontline and key workers, insight to our government and patience to us all. Overcome disease with the power of your new life. Through our Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And we've been asked specifically to pray for the NHS and other key workers. Our God is a great healer, and the agent used more than any other is the NHS. Today we voice our gratitude for those who serve this country in the National Health Service and pray for that God would prosper the work of their hands, that they would all be encouraged in their continued work of sacrifice and care amongst us. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers. Amen. And Heavenly Father, we just lift to you this evening any situation or people that have specifically asked for prayers at this time. People who may be afraid, sick, lonely tonight. We lift them to you, O oh Lord. Likewise, any difficult situations or circumstances, we lift all to you, O Lord, in the knowledge that you will love, that your love surrounds us in all that we are and all that we do. Heavenly Father, accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And our collect. God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, bring us to the dwelling which your Son is preparing for all who love you. Give us the will each day to live life eternal. Let our citizenship be in heaven with the blessed, with the whole company of the redeemed and with countless angels, praising, worshipping and adoring your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who sits upon the throne for ever and ever. Amen. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the light of Christ, the King of all, shine ever brighter in our hearts, that with all the saints in light we may shine forth as lights in the world. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening for night prayer. It's always lovely to receive your comments and prayers. Wherever you are this evening, please do keep safe, keep connected, keep praying. And please do join us if you can for morning prayer tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Otherwise, night prayer again at 6 in the evening. Wherever you are, have a safe night. God bless. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>